Welcome to your full body prenatal friendly yoga pilates fusion. I'm so happy you decided to join me today, so if you're ready, let's begin. Start by sitting at the center of your mat and make your way into your child's pose. Couple of options here, you can stay on your forearms, rest your arms next to the sides of your body or extend them forward. Come into the variation that feels best for you today and relax. Now rise up and with your next inhalation reach both arms up to the sky and exhale bring your hands down to your heart, hold them there and let's warm up our wrists. First open your palms towards your body bringing the back of your hands together then point your fingers towards your body, down, away and bring your palms together. Again back of your hands come together and your fingers pointing towards your body, down, away and palms together. One more round. And let's switch directions. Palms facing away from the body, fingers pointing away, down, towards your body, and palms together. Two more. And last one. Release your hands down and then inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, come into your tabletop. Let's begin to draw six circles with your body. You can make them as big or as small as you want, maybe adding in some cat cow movements. And now the other way, circling your body for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Quickly check your alignment in tabletop, hands beneath your shoulders, knees beneath the hips. Good. And extend your right leg back. Keep your toes on the mat for better stability. Maybe just touching the mat slightly or lift your leg up. Next, tend your left arm forward and just hold it there for me. Drawing your navel in and spreading your shoulder blades nice and wide. Then inhale, find length and exhale, flip the palm off your left hand and draw your left arm to the left side, keeping it straight. Then inhale, flip the palm and bring it forward. Again, exhale back and inhale forward. Six more. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Hold it and bring your left hand to your head. Then crunch your left elbow to the right elbow and lift up for seven. If you're pregnant, don't twist. You can do the same exercise but point your elbow only slightly down. Last three, two, and one. Then extend your left arm forward 
and sit back into Thunderbolt. Let's give our shoulder a nice little stretch. Extend your left arm to the right side and hold it with your right arm. Release, shake your arms out. Maybe doing a couple rounds of our wrist circles. And then come back to your tabletop and we'll do the other side. So extend your left leg back. Again, keep your toes on the mat for better stability. Maybe just touching the mat slightly or lift your leg up. And then extend your right arm forward and hold it there, drawing your navel in, shoulder blades wide, gripping the mat. On your next inhalation, find length and exhale, flip the palm off your right hand and draw your right arm straight out to the right side. Then inhale, flip the palm and bring it forward. Again, exhale back, inhale forward. Six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Then bring your right hand to your head and crunch your right elbow to the left elbow and lift up for seven. Again, modify this as shown if you're pregnant or want to avoid twisting. Four more. Three. Two and one. Well done. Extend your arm and sit back into your thunderbolt and let's stretch it out again. Extending your right arm to the left side, placing it onto your left arm. Release, shake it out again, maybe drawing some circles. And then come up onto your knees. You can place your hands into prayer, onto your belly or onto your hips. And then lean back, keeping the body straight. Come forward and do a mini squat on your knees, pushing the hips forward as you come up. Lean back, forward and mini squat. Keep going for four. Three. Two. And one. Good job. Sit back down and come into your tabletop again. Extend your right leg back and lift it up to about your hips. Then lower the straight leg down and lift up for five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knee, flex your foot and pulls up for six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. Then point the toes and now scorpion tail. Move the right knee slightly out to the right side and back in, keeping the height of the leg. Four, three, two, and one. Extend the right leg again and ground the toes. Turning into your side plank on your left hand and knee. Keeping some space between your knee and hand. Reach your right arm up or place it to your hip. And then lift the right leg up. Lower and ground the foot and dip your hips. Five more. If you're pregnant, only do a very light hip dip as shown in the right corner. Halfway, only three more. Lift the leg, lower and hip dip. Last two. And one. Good. Extend your right arm up. And turn back into tabletop. Your right leg stays extended. And then draw the right knee forward, placing the right ankle onto your left knee for a nice stretch in your outer hip. Tuck your toes and gently lean back, moving into the tighter areas. Unwind and sit back into your mermaid stretch. Hips on the left side, legs on the right. Your right hand is resting on your legs. Then reach the left arm up and over to the right, stretching into the left side of your body. Beautiful. Unwind and come back to your tabletop. This time extend your left leg back and lift it up. Then lower the left leg straight down and lift up. Four, five. Four. Three. Two and one. Bend the knee, flex your foot and pulse up for six, five, four, three, two and one. Now point your toes and for a scorpion tail move the left knee slightly out to the left and back in for five, four, Three, two, and one. Now extend the left leg and ground your toes. Turning into your side plank on your right knee and hand with a little bit more space between your hand and knee. Reach your left arm up or place it onto your hip. And then lift the leg up. Lower, grounding the foot and dip your hips down. Five to go. Again, if you're pregnant, only do a very light hip dip here. Three more. Lift the leg. Lower and hip dip. Last two. And one. Turn back into your tabletop, left leg stays extended. And now draw the left knee forward, placing the left ankle onto your right knee for a nice pigeon variation. Tuck your toes and gently lean back here. Unwind. And sit back into your mermaid stretch. Hips on the right this time, legs on the left side. Your left hand is resting on your legs. 
Now reach the right arm up and over, stretching into the right side of your body. Beautiful. Unwind and release into your child's pose. Let's move into some standing exercises. Slowly lift up and make your way into Tadasana, your standing position. Your feet hip distance apart for stability or together if that's what you prefer. And let's go into some chair squats. Lower down, bringing your hands into prayer and back up, engaging your glutes. Lower down and up for six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Lower down into your chair squat and hold it there. Then lift your left heel off the mat. Ground it and lift the right heel and down. Again, a bit faster. Left and right. Left and right. Keep going. Two more. Left and right. And last one. Hold your chair pose. And lift the left heel up. Now pulse your hips up and down, up, down. Really challenging our legs here. Now switch sides, right heel up and pulse. You've got this nearly done. Great, release. Rise up into Tadasana, shake your legs out a bit and let's stretch. Place your right leg over your left, both feet grounded and grab the right wrist with your left hand, pulling it over to the left side. Unwind and switch. Place your left leg over your right and pull the left arm over to the right side. Good. Unwind. And come back to Tadasana at the front of your mat. Feet hip distance apart. Bring your hands into prayer and then move your weight into the left leg, rising onto your right toes and lifting the right leg up. Hold it for three, two, one, and step back into your crescent. Inhale, reach both thumbs up. And exhale, left hand to your left hip, stretching the right arm to the left side. Inhale, reach both arms up again. And exhale, use Varya 2 as a transition into your peaceful Varya. Then place your left elbow to your left leg for your side angle. The right arm reaches up. You can modify this by placing your left hand to your left leg. Release into Varya 2. Inhale, turn into Crescent. Reach both arms up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Leaning forward for a mini Varya 3. Balancing on your left leg. Right toes can stay on the mat for stability. Hold it there. And 
Ground Release into Tadasana. Shake it out. And let's do the other side. Ground your right foot and lift onto your left toes, finding your balance. Bring your hands into prayer and lift the left knee up. Hold it there. And step back into your crescent. Inhale, reach both arms up. And exhale, right hand to your right hip. Left arm reaches to the right side. Inhale to straight. And exhale, warrior two. Stretching back for peaceful warrior. And lean forward for side angle. Come back into warrior two. Inhale, turn into crescent. And exhale, hands to your heart, stepping into your mini warrior three, strengthening the right leg. Hold it a couple more seconds. And release into Tadasana. Again, wiggle your legs. And come down to a seated position. down into your butterfly, bringing the soles of your feet together and allowing the knees to open. If you're pregnant, stay in a seated butterfly. Wherever you are, close your eyes and relax. Gently bring your knees together and for windshield wipes extend your arms and bring both legs to the left side. If you're pregnant just a tiny bit here and then over to the right. Again to the left. to the right. Come back to center and release into your Shavasana. Placing one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Close your eyes and bring your awareness inward. If you're pregnant or don't feel comfortable lying down, stay in your easy pose. Gently bring some movement into your fingers and your toes. Come back to a seated position. And let's finish our class with taking one big inhalation while reaching your arms up. And exhale, hands to your heart, bowing down and thanking yourself for your beautiful practice today. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed our practice and I can't wait to flow with you again. Bye!